Darcy Wentworth Thompson was the Professor of uh, Natural History or Zoology at St Andrews University from 1917 until his death in 1948. He was a remarkable scholar, a polymath of the sort that we simply don't encounter today. He was equally qualified to be a Professor of Zoology, of Classics and of Mathematics. His most important work on growth and form, published in 1917, and remarkably for a science publication still in print today, combines some of these interests, particularly those within mathematics and zoology. Here he is, for example, looking at the uh, form of single-celled organisms and talking about uh, the form of drops falling under gravity and uh, through a heavier fluid being analogous to that. And here's a, a ciliate stentor and a drawing that Darcy's done of, of stentor as well. As we turn through the book, we find large amounts of material, uh, published material from uh, other books tipped in and also typed up notes on uh, bits of paper uh, tipped in as well. So it's wonderful to have the actual book uh, in two volumes that Darcy had. This is probably... Uh, the proof copy, because it's uh, one-sided only, the, the one side of the uh, paper is, uh, is printed upon, and uh, Darcy has used this as a, a place to put additional notes for a possible future edition. Darcy was a tall, imposing figure, and he was often seen walking around St Andrews in a cloak with a parrot on his shoulder. He loved wine, women and song, and one of his favourite sayings was, I must dance once more before I die. The winter before he died, Darcy was teaching the history of natural history to a group of students at his home. One day he was reading aloud from a large tome and one of the girls thought he was unwell because he was stumbling rather and hesitating. And, he, and she said, are you tired, Professor? Should we go now? Darcy replied, my dear child, I'm not tired. I'm reading from a piece of medieval Italian and I'm finding the translation a little difficult. Truly he was a remarkable man. Besides publishing and teaching, Darcy was also responsible for the wonderful Bell Pettigrew Museum of Natural History, conveniently located along South Street, not far from his home. Many of the specimens were acquired by Darcy. For example, the giant spider crab uh, was something he bought uh, in a market in Japan when he visited Japan. One correspondent recalled visiting the museum when a boy of eight. Darcy appeared, showed him round, and on parting gave him, gave him a jar of stick insects and some privet leaves with instructions on how to feed them. Not many fellows of the Royal Society would find the time to do that today.